Hey guys. Don't you hate this? I'm going to show you how to fix that here in just a minute. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. This is what I've been talking about right here. Someone, I think she said her dad uh, did this because uh, one part popped out. And uh, what happens is these things get stiff. Like I said, 435,000 miles or whatever. The door's unlocked. But she said some kind of clip in there keeps breaking. I'm pretty sure I know what she's talking about. But anyway, that's not going to fix this handle thing. This is just, you know, you, you don't do that anyway. Okay, so what we would have to do is we would have to go clear around the other side. And of course, I'm filming and here comes a damn truck. Okay, and open this door reach in and open that door and I'll show you but this is what happened last weekend I went to open this door and that broke off well it had a crack in it I could feel it so we was trying to get this this end over here and so now in order let me see if I can do this one hand okay I would have to get this pull up on that and then open it like that and this door lock here is very sticky when you go to unlock it. Tumbers are worn. And then you'd have to come over here. Open that door. Hope it didn't go closed on you again. Then you close this door. Then you come around your truck. Then you open your door. And yes, the key's in here because I'm going to be replacing... That right there too, because it's uh, messed up. Okay, but that's going to be a follow-up video, or second video, to, or another video, okay? So first thing we're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and pull this key out, because that's really annoying. <coughs> and I'll show you. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys, I'm so sorry. Now, what you're going to do here is there's a couple little screws up inside there there's one there one there and one there and i believe they are all phillips you have to take them out you have to take this off okay and then you got to take the door panel off all right and that's down here i can feel where people have been prying on it and stuff now i don't have my tools i ordered some tools for that but you can do it without the tools so i'll just show you how i'm going to do it without the tools I'm going to get you set up in, the, and of course, the sun's in the wrong direction, but I'm going to get you set up in the tripod, and I'll be back with you in just a second. Hang on, guys. All right, guys, we're back. All right. First thing I'm going to do is check and make sure these are Phillips screwdrivers, because I can't, Phillips screws, because I can't see up in there, which I believe they are. see that one here yeah, that one's a Phillips and this one I don't think there's one in it okay all right now to get this off and make a little tool that goes up in here and it pushes this little you uh, uh, horseshoe spring up, or uh, clip up out of there and I've seen people do this and I'm going to try this a different way you can use a little flathead screwdriver and fiddle with it and it'll come out just whatever's, you know, just try not to, you know, hurt your door, but I've seen guys do this. Let me, I don't know if I can do this without, take this one. You see what I'm doing there? Okay. Now we'll take this. I'm gonna get it shoved up on under there and usually it'll catch an end of that little clip and it'll pop it out just enough depending on how they put it in so they might have went down through this way
and there it is. Up right off of there. And there's the little horseshoe clip I was talking about right there. See, it pushed it out just enough so I could get, pop the door handle off. So that's actually the way it's supposed to be. So it wasn't even on there right to begin with. And then this, the washer it protects, you know, so it'll go, it'll go on like that. So you gotta make sure that you get up in between that washer, this washer and this, okay? So there's that. Now let's go ahead. Get the screw out. Alright, set it in there, don't lose it. Get this screw out. And we'll know here in just a minute if if this one's got a screw in it, but I don't think it does. Because you don't know a truck this old and worked on by different people. You never know, you know who does what to them and why and did they do it right. And so I can tell you right now this don't have a screw in it. This one does. So let's see if I can pull it out with my magnetic screwdriver here. But sometimes you can just tap on them they'll come out. Now I'm gonna get down underneath here and just get my finger under there and I wanna start, see? See this is what I'm talking about? There's the other screw for that. Someone's dropped it down in there and didn't pop that out. It's probably a rattling I've been hearing. It's been driving me nuts. And it, oh, it'll be fine. I hate when people don't do stuff the right way. Be careful not to break these clips, although they can break, they're plastic. On a truck this old, you know, it can, uh, the heat and cold, heat and cold, but just gingerly pull it up out. Like that. Another good idea is to clean out your, see what you got in here. Okay, battery, probably no good. Why do people save batteries? They just can't bring yourself to throw them away on the same way I probably got or four in there on, on or around my workbench. That are dead, that, I don't know. Like, they almost seriously start working. Okay, now, then you wanna lift this straight up. Once you get all these clips out, straight up. Make sure everything's pulled out of your way. This will, we'll get this out in a second. Okay, Make sure all the clips, there's a clip right there. Make sure it's out. And let's lift this up. Okay, there. This one you got to slide back to you this way, and then up. They can be finicky. You have to be careful with it. Almost as if something is attached right in here. I don't think it's this. Could have been. Alright, so this, what this does is slide forward this way and then out. So let's try and see. Alright, there we go. Now lift it up. And then back, I can sit in back. That way, see what's going on here. There we go. Close down here on these. Okay, now, and that'll just pretty much pull right out of there like that. Set 
this aside. Now this has a little tiny speaker in it. It's called a tweeter. It's got a plug on the end of it here. Little plug right there that plugs in right here to this. They didn't even have it plugged in. That's half assing it, guys. Now here's what we're looking at here. Now I'm gonna have to take you off the tripod here. Alright. So what we got going on here. You see that? That don't look original. And there's one right up in here. It's usually a 10 millimeter. It feels fine. This one here don't look original, so I'm not sure what I'm going to have to do about that. People rigging stuff up. So I'm going to get those screws out of there, and this whole unit will pop out. And I'll be right back with you. Hang tight. Alright guys, we're back. Damn. What you guys are hearing right now is there's a flock of these birds coming. There's some over there. And there's these cranes walking through the yard like nobody's business. And they are noisy. So if you hear that, don't think I'm losing my mind or you're losing yours. Okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you what I've done here. I'll show you how to get this in the best that I can here. So, these are the old clips. It comes with new ones. Now it's not broke. Okay. What that does, it goes on here. And then when you put your piece over top of it, can you see that? This clips around and clips on to the other side of that. That's how those work. And, okay guys, we are back. I'm just going to, I still have the, you know, I don't have the, the panel back on you but I want to check and see how this does there we go this thing has it opened in what like three years I know we've been together what two and two years or two <coughs> anyway it never worked since we met I think it didn't work a while before that so now it's working so let's check the lock Okay, there we go, awesome, Let's see if it locks too, yep, alright, there we go, so there's that, now I'm going to set you back up here, and we're going to put this back in, yeah, it's just a reverse step, um, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to grab our door panel here, All the clips. Well, there is one clip missing. I do see one clip missing, but anyhow. Let's go ahead and we're going to plug this tweeter back in. Like that. We're going to kind of give this a twist. Get that back in there. Now we're just going to Make sure you get up over up over your uh, door lock because if not you can bend that it'll bend the rod and then it just pushes right back down in now everything should be ready to go back in should be lined up and they are all right we're good to go now let's get this puppy in here it goes in and then pushes back now this, before I put it on, I want to look where the other handle is. Now you by no means have to do this. I just do it because of my obsessive compulsive thing. It's pretty much like that. I'm going to give it like that because I'm going to do the other one about like that. So let's put this on here. And make sure your clip's in there right. Oops. It's like that. And what I'm going to do, though, 
is I'm going to flip it around because you see when it comes up, shoot. Okay, when it comes up, it's still behind there when you're trying to work with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it this way. Okay, I'm going to put it this way because that way, if I have to take it apart again, I spin it down and that'll pop up out of there and it's not, you know, hiding behind this. All right, so there you go. There's that. So I'm just going to put this on. Oh, about right there. Let's see. Because that's, you know, where you go to grab your door handle. You never. So, I'm going to put it about like that. And that's what I'm going to do the other side. And then this just pushes right in there. There we go. All right. Now all we got left is our screws. So, of course, the car coming. All right, guys. All we got left is those three screws. You can't see nothing, can you? There we go. Is that better? So all we got left is those um, three screws. There was only two, but we found the third one. Remember, it came bouncing out of there. Uh, and that job's done. And then I'm going to do the other side. I'm not going to film it. I just filmed this. You guys get the idea. It's a little finicky, but you can do it. It's, it's really not that big of a deal. So... I'm going to end this one here, and the next one we're going to be changing. I don't know how I'm going to film that. That's kind of up under the dash, but I'll do the best I can. Any better? But I'll do the best I can for you. I know I got traffic. It was fine all morning. Uh, to show you how to change that uh, lock cylinder, and we'll go from there. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching and uh the hell was i gonna say remember check out monkey 1000 channel and remember me the myth the man the legend shea bear i'm gone for now guys check out the other video on the 2003 toyota thanks for watching bye bye